This video came uh, pretty heavily requested in my messages. I talked about this on my channel briefly. As some of you guys may know, I work in an office. My boyfriend rents out a office space and he lets me film in it. Thanks babe. Literally could not do this without you. But I don't work from home. Um, I know a lot of beauty vloggers have like their little beauty room in their home. I rent an apartment. I have a baby. Also, I'm like a big believer in like not trying to mix work with like home stuff. Stuff. Having an office space kind of helps me with that, at least for now. And I'm rambling. The makeup that you guys see me mostly use, I've said this in a couple videos. When I really love a product, it comes home with me because I can't, I literally cannot live without it. I want to use it in my makeup collection at home and I want to just have it with me at all times. Another thing I've also kind of mentioned is I'm very much a minimalist when it comes to makeup, guys. I will probably never really do like a huge makeup collection video because I think it's actually going to be very boring and very disappointing. I don't have Alex 9 drawers full of makeup. I don't. I give so much makeup away if I don't completely fall in love with it. Before I let it go to waste, I give it away. I have nieces, sisters, friends, you guys. I give so much makeup away. I would say about 70% of the makeup you guys watch me use, I give away. The 30% either stays in the office or comes home with me. I would say about 5% of that makeup comes home with me. And I do my makeup with it on a regular basis when I'm not working. So we are going to go through through the makeup bag that contains my face when I do it at home. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna talk about literally every single thing that's in here because there's products in here that I don't even use that much anymore that need to go into a giveaway pile. That's just how I am in life and in general. I am gonna be so honest with you, keep it hood, match the attitude of this flannel, and keep it moving. Let's talk about the makeup that has made it home with me that I do my makeup with when I'm not filming, which I would say is about three times a week. Orale <laughs> pues. So the first thing I want to talk about, which didn't actually fit into my makeup bag, it's huge. By the way, this makeup bag is by Kate Spade. It was a gift and it's the only Kate Spade bag I own right now and I love it. My Makeup Geek eyeshadows. To be completely honest with you guys, I've only had these for like maybe a week, but these are the only eyeshadows I have been using since I have them. I was almost really terrified of bringing them to the office because I didn't want to leave them here and I didn't want to have to drive back and get them. Like I just didn't want to forget them these are my babies if you guys don't know makeup geek eyeshadows are my favorite eyeshadows on the planet they also make some of my favorite blushes and i really enjoy some of their lip products and their falsies i just think all around makeup geek is such a great brand and if you guys haven't heard makeup geek is killing the game and has been killing the game and setting the standard for what eyeshadows should feel like and look like. I'll swatch a duo chrome one for you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Makeup Geek truly is killing the game when it comes to eyeshadows. I really don't think there's anybody right now making eyeshadows as, as good as these when it comes to mattes. I have tried so many matte eyeshadows. A lot, guys. I really have. Nothing really comes close to Makeup Geeks. They blend like butter. They are opaque, pigmented the house, super easy to work with, very beginner friendly, but the intensity and the color and the pigment all of that is there and it is there in spades but yet it's a beginner friendly product it's so weird how she managed to get the right amount of pigment along with the amount of blendability i would say this video is not sponsored by make actually no hold up <laughs> this video isn't sponsored by makeup geek but what i usually say is makeup geek doesn't even know who i am makeup geek does know who i am they have sent me pr before but this palette and these eyeshadows i bought myself i like to be completely transparent here because a few of you guys know that Makeup Geek actually has sent me PR and I was incredibly grateful to them because they didn't have to do that. I am going to rave about them until I pass because I love them, but they were super awesome. But these, this palette, these eyeshadows, I bought myself. If you guys are interested in building your own palette, because this is actually my own palette. I built this myself. I picked out these shades. As you guys can see, I'm such a neutral whore and my pops of color are literally an orange, purple, and these little numbers that I honestly kind of bought to play with doing my niece's makeup. I don't see myself personally using a ton of these colors, but I figured when I have family over, why not? This blue is actually kind of ridiculous. I'll show you the green real quick. The mermaid green is also some, like they're magical guys. They're really pretty and they just play so well with each other. I just love how they look. I love what they are. I love everything about them and I think they're dope and they're gonna come home with me. The foundations that I keep at home. Oh, this is 
my I do care thirst things first spray this is so good at hydrating your skin I use this at home every day either before I wear makeup before I go to bed I bathe in this spray all the time I got this at Ulta it's like such a refreshing oil spray it's very hydrating and even though I have oily skin I love this product because it's hydrating it's so easy to prep your skin with because it's a spray the spray also is so nice it's like the nicest mist ever. It has a scent to it, but not a floral scent, not a sweet scent, like a fresh scent. Really good skincare. The foundations that I have in here are my Maybelline Fit Me for obvious reasons and my Believe Beauty foundation, again, for obvious reasons. I don't talk about Believe Beauty that much on my channel anymore because we've reviewed the bitch. I know I love it and you guys know that too, but do I still use Believe Beauty all the time? Almost every single day. I have their concealer. The primer that I have in here is is the Becca Backlit Primer. This, I mean, you guys can see how well loved it is. I wear this even when I don't wear makeup. I just think it's such a good primer for the skin, period. It's very illuminating. It gives you a lot of life. It blurs your pores. Not like a crazy amount or anything. It's not super blurring, but it feels good on the skin. And I really, really, really like this product. My Jeffree Star Highlighter. Yeah, guys, this one came home with me. This is the Supreme Frost Highlighter in the shade Wet Dream. One of my absolute favorite highlights of all time like this guys how can you not be in love even from back here you guys could see that that is something else i tell you the setting powder that i use at home is my sasha buttercup setting powder this has to be with me at all times guys because usually when i do my makeup at home i do it so it lasts me throughout the day running errands going grocery shopping picking up my daughter going to meetings and i need my makeup to last the sasha buttercup setting powder not only is it blurring and it is the most perfect shade of yellow but this keeps you so much it's ridiculous this doesn't let any oils escape ever this is life-changing if you have oily skin this was created in Trinidad I think it's like a Trinidad brand I might be mistaken it might be another island either way this is a brand that was created in an island where it's really hot and really humid so this brand of makeup is made to withstand humidity heat sweat oils and boy does it do just that another primer I have in here is my elf putty primer this is such a great primer guys this is blurring beautiful by the way i am wearing most of this stuff on my face right now i'm wearing this primer mixed with this primer i'm wearing the fit me foundation i'm wearing the makeup geek eyeshadows the jeffree star highlight blush that i keep in here is my ColourPop blush in the shade frisky business i wear this blush every single day <laughs> every day that i wear makeup i'm always wearing this if you guys catch me ever on an off day where i'm not filming and you're ever wondering hey what blush is she wearing or what highlight is she wearing it's always these two and very rarely do i change it from these the bronzer that I always wear that's pretty good It's not as great as my Milani one, but I like it for what it does is this one from Rimmel This is the Rimmel maxi bronzer 2bh. I picked this up at big lots It was three dollars as you can see and it works pretty well guys I actually really like it. It was very affordable and it does what I want my bronzer to do which is warm up the face I do stay away from this really red shade up top I kind of just stay down here to the more orangey kind of just brown shades because red on my skin tone it makes me look weird overall it's a good bronzer i just tend to avoid that and it's big and it's really easy to travel with so that's another reason why i really like it the lip gloss that i keep at home and anywhere i have a couple of these lip glosses guys the same exact ones this is the rose gold lip gloss this is by kim kardashian this is one of my favorite lip glosses and i think kim kardashian has officially made my favorite lip glosses guys there is truly just nothing like them they're wonderful they don't have a, a scent really they are what a gloss is supposed to be they're glossy they're plumping they have an effect on the lips that's really flattering and she got nudes so right with this a couple of other items that i keep in here are the glossy a lit stars i have a couple of them i have this one in the shade i don't know i don't know if they have shades if i'm being oh fawn and slip this is slip this is fawn i really like products like this guys it makes it so easy to do my makeup and go all i have to do is apply a little bit of this pigment pat it out with my finger maybe throw on some bronzer in the crease if i'm feeling it big if 
and then I'm out the door. They wear beautifully. They're glossier. They're so nice. Honestly, I'm having the hardest time getting this one. Oh, now it opened. I had the hardest time getting this one open and sometimes it does get finicky. I don't know why. Either way, they're gorgeous. The mascara that I'm using at home right now is the Big Shot Colossal. I'm also using the KKW mascara at home as well. I didn't pack it for some reason or another. Um, I think I might have left it in my bathroom drawer if I'm being honest. Nine times out of ten, I'm wearing the KKW on an off chance if I can't find the KKW, I'll throw the Big Shot Colossal on. This is a really good mascara from Maybelline. This one was the hot ticket item before Lash Paradise. Then Lash Paradise came. This one, it got lost kind of in the bunch, but it's it's still a good mascara and it was great at its time, but we all have our moments. It's just not the hot ticket item anymore. And I use my NYX Fluff and Fill Brow Pencil to fill in my brows. I hate the brush with this. To be honest, I have to use a spoolie brush that I have at home to brush out my brows. But when it comes to formula, it's actually a really good formula. I really like it. I like the brown. It's the pencil that I'm using right now. I enjoy it. Some lip options that I have in here are this Glossy A Leo. I think this is like their matte lipstick. It looks really intimidating because it looks really brown. But it actually comes off on your lip as a really nice soft nude. I don't know how they did that, but they did it very well. And I also keep a Believe Beauty lipstick, which is actually what I'm wearing under this gloss. This Believe Beauty lipstick, which is in the shade... Do you have the shade? I might have rubbed off the shade, guys. It's the nude one. They don't have a lot of lipstick, so it's the nude one. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back. That's basically all I use at home. I have a couple of other lip glosses and lip products in there, but I barely use them anymore, and they need to make their way to another another drawer. I don't like hoarding makeup. I think that's like a huge no-no. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I like to be pretty transparent with you guys when it comes to makeup and my routines and stuff like that. And you guys are always asking me like hey what's the makeup products you can't live without that make it home with you i hope that answered a lot of your questions because if you guys have been wondering like hey what's a really good setting powder what's a really good prepping spray what are some really good eyeshadows girl i got you it's all in my bag literally